This segment is sponsored by TJ Homes. Anyone who's done it will admit buying a home can be stressful, but it doesn't need to be. Not if you know all the steps ahead of time. Whether you're a first time home buyer or you're ready to upgrade your home, Tammy Jo Budzinski is here from TJ Homes with seven steps to buying a house in 2021. Happy New Year, TJ. <laughs> Happy New Year. We made it to 2021. We sure did. It's been crazy. Uh, seven steps to buying a home in the next yeah. year. I know we don't have time to get to all seven, but you have identified yeah. some that you think are especially important. So I want to tick through some of them. And yeah. the first one that you have listed is building a strategy. And yeah. I imagine it's first because it's super important. It lays the groundwork for what happens during the whole process. It does. Most people just go, well, I want to buy a house. They start looking at homes. Yeah. And that's not really where we need to start. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to relate this to cooking. I'm not the cook in the family. My husband is. Yeah. And when I get the gumption to try, I get a recipe out because the recipe tells me what ingredients I have to have and how much of each I have to have. Because if yeah. I didn't, I would forget something. Same concept with a strategy for how we're moving forward with looking for a home. We want to make sure we have all those key ingredients in place so that we have a great foundation to start from. So things, the key ingredients, mm -hmm. what's the neighborhood you want to live in? What does your dream home look like? Those sorts right. of things go into that strategy. Yes. And timeline is probably one of the most important that people don't really understand. Mm -hmm. They say, hey, I want to move in two months. Well, we should have been looking two months ago. Yeah. Another step is getting pre-approved for that loan, that yes. mortgage. Where does mm -hmm. this come into the strategy that you've just built with your client? Well, once we've built that strategy, now that pre-approval process gets even easier because we have those key components that are getting set up. So that lender is now going to be figuring out, hey, based upon what we're looking at, you are fully approved for a loan, what type of loan we're now going to qualify for, and then what, how is that structure of that loan going to look like? Hmm. Talk a little bit about the different types of loans for which people can qualify. Well, a lot of people just think you have to have 20% down, and that's not true. It's, of course, what we prefer because it helps you with avoiding PMI or private mortgage insurance. But there's also in conventional loans alone, you can go down as low as 3%. Mm -hmm. And conventional loans are non-government loans. There's FHA, which is a federal housing administration loan, means it is a government backed loan. So if you default, the government's backing up that loan to that lender, or there's even VA and RD, which is for veterans or for rural development areas that are more zero down programs. Mm -hmm. All right. And a good agent will help you walk through all those options and select. In fact, yeah. finding that good agent is also on your list of seven things. How do you go about finding the right agent for you? Well, you have to understand it's not just about finding the house. It's about the whole step and the whole process. And that we're really looking to not get rushed into a decision, but finding that good agent is going to be there to navigate you through the entire process. Finding a home, getting the loan, going through all that paperwork. And to find that real value is that it, is that it runs smoothly for you. Mm. Uh, you gave me a couple of things that a good agents will do, of course, help you find just the right location, but to look beyond the, the, the things you, that greet you when you open the door, the color of the paint or the, you know, the easy to fix stuff. You talk us down off the ledge on those things, right? Well, and in two parts, yes, because think about the paint. With the paint, it could be in this market with home selling fairly quickly. They could throw some paint on, on the wall and make you like, oh, this is fantastic, but they're missing the big components. They're all going to start hitting after you buy it. We're mm -hmm. not here just to sell you a house just to get you sold. We're here to make sure that you have the right, the right home. So we never tell you no, Catherine. <laughs> but I will tell you, eh. -eh. <laughs> yeah, good. Well, eh, eh is a pretty good hint if things aren't just one right. of my words. Uh -huh. We we rely on you for that for sure. So yeah. your list of some things you also you do a blog post on many of the topics that we talk about, yes. um, and and you kind of expand on them. Your oh, blog, very much. It's super fun to read. I'm I've been looking at it lately, and it I got really, your hooks, did I? <laughs> yeah, it, it's an education for both buyers and sellers. Mm -hmm. So, all right, we got to let folks know if you are ready to conquer the market and get the deal done right, then schedule a strategy session with mm -hmm. Tammy Jo or one of her experienced agents. You can yes. do it by giving them a call or going to the TJ Homes website. It is tjhomes.com. Easy as could be. Happy New Year. Thank you so Happy much. Happy New Year. Thank you for having me back. You bet. Bye, Tammy Jo. Bye.